Hello everyone, Pete here, and Switch emulation on SteamOS. So whether on the Steam Deck or on a Windows PC handheld, with the official SteamOS or Bazite like I have is insane. And here are the nine super easy steps to get it all set up. So I'm going to do this on my RG Ally X with dual boot Bazite. And for step one, let's start by downloading the awesome Switch emulator Ryujinx. So let's hit our Steam button, head down to power, and click switch to desktop to take us to the Linux desktop. And there are two ways for us to get Ryujinx. The first is we can Google it, of course, but I highly recommend doing it the second way, which is to install one of the most incredible apps I've ever used in Emudeck. And Ryujinx already comes fully configured and installed with this. And I've done a super easy Emudeck setup guide for this, link in the description. Next for step two, let's launch Ryujinx. So let's press the menu button, go to all applications, and scroll all the way down to Ryujinx and launch. Now when we first launch Ryujinx, it comes up with this error message saying that keys aren't found. And we'll fix this right now. With step three, let's now install our keys and firmware to fix this really irritating keys not found error message. And to also turn our BIOS files checker Ryujinx section in Emudeck from red to green, as currently we can't yet play any of our games. We can get this from dumping it from our Switch. Again, there are many guides online to do this and you may be able to find them online too. And we should have two files, one called prod.keys, which for me is tiny at 12.3 kilobytes, and one called title.keys, which is even smaller at just 408 bytes. And at the time of recording, the version is 20.3.0. Now a lot of us freak out at this bit, but it really is super simple. In Ryujinx, let's click OK to get rid of that annoying Ryujinx error message. Then click File, then Open Ryujinx Folder, then System. I'm going to press Split and on the right, locate my two keys files, which for me are on my desktop. And just simply drag our prod.keys file into this system folder. And we actually don't even need our title.keys file at all for Ryujinx. Let's close Ryujinx to reset it. And when we open it back up, boom, that error message will no longer appear. Awesome. Let's now install the firmware, which isn't required for most games, but it is for some games like Mario Kart, so it's definitely worth doing. And for this, let's head into Actions, then Install Firmware, then install a firmware from XCI or Zip. Simply locate one of our Switch games that is an XCI format, select it and click Open, and we get this message saying Install Firmware, so let's click yes. And this message now tells us our firmware is now successfully installed. So when we go back into the BIOS checker in Emudeck, the Ryujinx section is now green. And hit like and drop a comment if that just worked to help spread this bit to many more in our awesome PC handheld gaming community. So now our BIOS is all sorted. For step four, we now need to add our Switch games. So let's open up where Emudeck installed a folder called emulation, which for me was in the default place of home. Click on the emulation folder, head into ROMs. Obviously, this is where all of the Emudeck system ROMs are stored. So let's head down to the Switch folder. And now it's just a case of placing our Switch games we own in here. There are many guides online of how we can dump them in either NSP or XCI formats. And of course, you may come across some games online, but let's make sure we really support our awesome developers in any case. And there is a new step we need to do now too, which is to head to options in Ryujinx then settings, in-game directories, hit add, then locate our switch ROM folder, so for me it is home, then my username, then hits the down arrow of emulation, then the down arrow of ROMs, scroll down to our switch folder and double check our path right here, then hit OK, then apply, then OK, and our games will now populate right here. So as we start adding our Switch games for step five, let's now install any game updates, DLC or mods. To do this, let's right click on the game we want to do it for. So let's manage title updates for any updates or manage DLC for the DLC or manage mods for, yep, you guessed it, any mods. I'm installing an update, so I'll select this manage title updates option, then click add, simply locate our file. So for me, it's on the desktop, select our file, click open and we get this one new updates added message so click ok we can see our new update dlc or mod appears here so just click save and it is now applied to our game so in my case 1.0.1 in the game library 
Step six, let's now add our Switch games to Steam OS using Steam ROM Manager. So let's close Ryo Jinx as we're finished here. Open up Emidec, head to Steam ROM Manager, click add games, then pass, then click save to Steam. And after this done adding entries message, we can exit out. And remember that we do have to do this every time that we install a brand new Switch game, just like any other ROM, otherwise they will not appear in Steam OS. For step seven, let's now configure Ryojinx to work correctly. And we only need to do this his very first time. So let's close out of Emidec, then head into Ryojinx. And there are three crucial settings that we need to change here. For the first, head to options, then tick this start games in full screen mode option. Otherwise our games will not launch in full screen. Then for two, scroll down to settings and untick this show confirm exit dialog to stop an annoying message pop up every time that we have to quit a Switch game. And the most important at three is to head to input. Click the drop down arrow on input device. And we need to change this from the default all keyboards to the Steam Virtual Gamepad. And I cannot stress enough how crucial this is. We have to do this in other emulators too, like Dolphin, for Wii and GameCube games. Otherwise our onboard controls will not work. It is essential. Once we've done this, we just hit apply, then click OK. For step eight, let's launch our Switch games. So we're all finished here in the Linux desktop. So let's close Emidec and head into game mode. And there are two ways to do this. The first is that if we're just dipping in and out of our Switch games, then to use the front end of Emidec called Emulation Station. So let's load this up. We have our incredible Emidec theme called Artflix. And again, I cover all of this in my full Emidec guide. Let's head into the Switch section. And when we first install our Switch games, there's no game artwork. So let's hit the start button, click scraper, scroll down to scrape these systems, tick the Switch box, go back, then hit start. But we'll just take a moment to find our artwork, so we just hit OK. And now we have our amazing game artwork. So just click on our Switch game to launch it. Now don't worry that it will not launch this first time. We'll get this Eden error message, which is fine. So just for this very first time, let's hit start, scroll down to other settings, then alternative emulators, scroll all the way to switch and click on it and change it from the Eden switch emulator to Ryojinx that we've just set up. We can see that this is now our default switch emulator in emulation station and back all the way out and launch our game, which now launches successfully. And we can see here that our games now launch in full screen and most importantly, our controls will now work. So for me, I'll press L and R to start, A to start a new game and so on. A quick note that pressing both start and select buttons together to quit does not work with Switch games in Emidec like it does with other systems like Wii and GameCube. We have to press the Steam button then exit game. So if any of you know a quick way to exit a Switch game, then do let us know below in the comments. And the second way is if there's a certain Switch game that we play a lot and really want to focus on, then we can go into the non-Steam section in our game library, select whichever Switch game that we want and launch it right here. And our most played Switch games that we want to focus on will now be in our main game library. And for step nine, let's install three amazing Decilord plugins that will greatly enhance our Switch games. With the first one being this incredible game library theme. And this was done using a Decilord plugin called CSS Loader with my favorite theme called Art Hero. At two is Vibrant Deck. And this is essential for LCD screens like on the RG Ally or Legion Go, as turning up the vibrancy slider all the way to 200 really does give us an OLED light display. It really is so awesome. And at three is Steam Grid DB. And after we install this Decaloader plugin, we can press start on any game, select to change artwork, and we have just insane alternative artworks to select from. So I'm gonna select this one for my portrait artwork. Wide capsule is the big background, so I'm gonna choose this one. And hero is a landscape artwork, and I'm gonna choose this one. And wow, this just looks so, so good. And our game artwork now looks exactly how we want them to. I've done a full vid on the top 10 essential Decaloader plugins and I'll leave a link to that below. I'd love to know if this guide helped you. Share any Ryojinx tips that you have and also what Switch games that you're going to play first. So let us all know below in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake.
And as a little extra bonus treat, I love to share this awesome quote. Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. I want to dedicate this video to my good friend Matt who passed away suddenly just over a year ago when he was way, way too young. This pic was the very last of us taken together before he passed the week after. It's been a year now and I still think of him every single day. So give someone a call today and let them know how much you appreciate them because life is so fragile. Tomorrow is not guaranteed and every breath that we have is a gift.